what is a chemical imbalance? Let's find out. Hello, people of the world. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Yes. This week we're talking about chemical imbalances and all these different things, you know. So, I thought it would be great if we asked a professional what a chemical imbalance really, really is. So, I'm going to Skype with Dr. Brown. She is a physician specialized with, um, you know, neurological stuff, you know, stuff in the brain, stuff like that. So, um, uh, I'm going to talk to her and uh, you guys can find out what a chemical imbalance is, okay? Give me a second to connect the call. Oh, hi, Dr. Brown. Hello. Yes, hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So can you explain to us what a chemical imbalance really is? Yes, I would certainly love to explain um, how the brain works when it has a chemical imbalance, as we call it. Okay, so the brain of mankind is very much like a car. Okay, so we have uh, the frontalis, we have the fontanellus, the cytalis, the hepatalis, okay, the Kia Picanto, and the Honda Civic. And a lot of times the Kia Picanto wants to tell the Honda Civic to broom, 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 and start. But the Kia Picanto uses keys that the Honda Civic does not use anymore because the Honda Civic doesn't even use keys anymore these days they have buttons okay so just like um, just like us humans you know we need a button to get started okay yeah that's that's very interesting that's very very interesting Therefore, if the fontanellus does not want to produce the amount of hormones that the body needs to function properly, we need to use a button, which is right here, a medicine, that you take in, okay? And once you take it in, the Honda Civic will broom broom and start, and the body will go into normal motion mode. So, have, is having like a chemical imbalance, is it like abnormal? No, it is not very complicated because uh, it's very much like having any other types of chemical imbalance in the body that is more known or more popular, like diabetes. For example, diabetes. Diabetes is something that is where the pancreas does not produce enough insulin. Therefore, the body will go into distress mode. Okay, you may faint, you may feel lightheaded, you might get a lot of symptoms. Just like a chemical imbalance in the brain where the fontanelle does not produce enough hormone to keep the body in motion. Diabetes is also the same. This also, you need a button and you take it in and then that stimulates the pancreas to produce the necessary insulin so your body comes right back in balance. Ah, yes, yes. So is it hard to live with a chemical imbalance? Well, let me put this to this like this. This is just like... Um, uh, once you um, realize that you have a shortcoming in uh, your physical aspects, um, uh, in your body, you have to uh, try to um, try to um, uh, find a way to uh, live in an order that um, uh, will. Uh, Will uh, will will uh, m -m 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 will uh, benefit uh, your uh, your uh, m -m -m your your lifestyle? Yeah. Yes, I mean your lifestyle. It uh, 
you have to uh, adjust it just a little bit, you know, but you can have a very normal life once you are diagnosed and it is a very good thing when you are diagnosed believe me because um, when you um, are diagnosed you can now um, live with more comfort because a lot of people they walk around and they do not know that they have a chemical imbalance in their body but yet they are very irritated and uh, you know uh, they don't know precisely what is going on so it's very good that you know that uh, you have this and now you are uh, very much uh, mm -hmm, doing very 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 well yes 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 Thanks, Dr. Brown, for your insightful information. I know we, we definitely have learned a lot today. You're welcome. Yes, you're welcome. Have a good day. Thank you. So the front dance and the sentinels. Where's my Honda Civic, though? So, uh, yeah, there you guys go. Now you know what a chemical imbalance is. And um, I think that, you know, sometimes when you have shortcomings, it can actually be a good thing. Because for me, um, what I um, experience from having a chemical imbalance is that I'm always very, very, um, you know, uh, up to date with my body. I keep my body in check. I try to keep it healthy. I try not to put myself in stressful situations and um, I just am really really you know conscious of um, my emotional state in my mindset so that really helps me to stay um, in a good in a good uh, place. Let's just put it like that and um, yeah you know I, I think that everything good or bad can be a blessing in your life and um, of course I didn't think it, it was like that at first but now I'm like you know there, there's some good things with this and a lot of things that people don't know is that people that have chemical imbalances in the brain are a lot of times creative and I didn't know this myself until I did some research on it but a lot of people that were um, very very famous and creative uh, or famous for being creative were um, you know they had a chemical imbalance like Beethoven and um, he, he suffered from depression and stuff like that Van Gogh you know uh, Van Damme is an actor uh, Katrina Jones is also an actress you know and my favorites Jennifer Lewis she's so fabulous, oh my goodness, fabulous Google her she is so fabulous like she is like one of my inspirations you know um, she found out in 1991 when I was born that she had a chemical imbalance and um, you know she had a hard time accepting it too but the thing is that she rose you know she rose to the top you know once she uh, found a way uh, how to you know like manage it and um, you know she's very famous now you know actually she's very like known she plays in like a lot of movies a lot of Tyler Perry movies and now you might um, see her more in that series called Blackish she plays the I don't remember his name the the mom of the guy you know of the of the african-american guy so um, yeah it's awesome it's it's really awesome and um, you know, I, I thank God that I can be so open and share about, you know, my experiences with, with the world and hopefully I will help somebody out there. Hey, because that's the reason why I make these videos. It's just purely to help you guys out in one way or the other. Okay. So, uh, have a nice day. Be sure to thumbs up this video. Subscribe for more videos. And share with somebody that you think needs to hear this. Or if you want, you can watch it again, too. That's what I did. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I'll see you guys another day. Bye. Um, 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 uh, yes. <laughs>